hi you guys this is my first vlog um so i'm doing this for a class assignment but this is really fun i actually i think it's really fun like my first vlog i didn't even know what a vlog was but um here i am doing a video vlog i wanted to do something a little bit different than just posting stuff on facebook or like you know posting making a website so um i'm just gonna do it off of youtube and so um, I think it's a great thing just to like express myself because I really like talking. So anyways, um, I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be answering a question that, um, you know, is about, uh, called, a question that people ask, like, who was Jesus? And I got it from a book that we have in my class. And uh, it's When Skeptics Ask by uh, Norman Geisler and Ronald Brooks. And this is for evangelism. So this is, you know, just like makes you think about who was Jesus. And um, so some people, I believe, well, some people, Jesus is a historical figure. I mean, there's a lot of people that believe that Jesus actually did exist on this earth. And that's why they say that he has, um, he was a great teacher. He uh, set up good morals and all this stuff. And he was such a wise person. And, um, and so they believe that he existed here. It's, they just don't believe that he's the savior. But here's something that I um, learned from the radio. Uh, it said, "It said um, you either believe that Jesus was crazy or he was the son of God." And because the thing is, you can't you can't say that Jesus was a good moral teacher. Well, I mean, you could say that, but see, look. Do you hear what Jesus said? Because Jesus says that he is the son of God. And Jesus is the son of God. But you either believe that he's the son of God or you think he's a maniac. You can't say he's a good moral teacher and assume that's it. Because what kind of good moral teacher would be would say, oh yeah, I'm the son of God. You know, that would just be crazy. But Jesus was the son of God. And that's who Jesus was. He was... He, he was 100% human and 100% God. And so um, we can't deny either one of them. You see, because some people say that Jesus came down here at, like he wasn't actually human. He didn't actually have like flesh and that he was just an apparition. But uh, I don't really know how accurate that would be because Jesus bled and, you know, apparitions don't bleed. Apparitions probably don't hunger apparitions don't thirst but jesus hungered jesus thirst jesus was tempted jesus did everything that we do the only the thing that sets us apart is that jesus is god and of course we're not god but he wasn't an apparition he existed he died on that cross he had blood coming out of him and he you know he felt all things that humans felt so he was 100% God and 100% human. This humanness of his is um, definitely found in the gospel. Uh, of course, everything is found in the gospels about Jesus. Um, but um, he was born the same way you and I were born, except he was conceived um, by the Holy Spirit. And so, but then he developed the same way we developed. He grew old the same way we grew. He was a baby at the beginning of the story, and he became a man at the end of the story, and then he died just like humans died. And so, that's his humanness. He can't be an apparition. I mean, yeah, he rose from the dead, but he is God and he rose from the dead. And some people say that he rose from the dead to be like his, uh, to be in his original form. And so they think his original form, whatever that is, I don't know what it is, but whatever. They, <laughs> they said that he uh, rose to be in his original form. And so they don't believe that he's one of us. I mean, you know, they don't believe that he's human. But Jesus rose from the dead and he appeared to people. And so that's the deity part of him, you know? Like, the only people, well, we know that Lazarus rose from the dead, but that was because Jesus rose from the dead. And, um, yeah. But um, he was definitely human. His death definitely proved it, and his suffering definitely proved it, and his feelings did. Especially when he, um, in the verse John, 
somewhere. You can find it in John. Um, John 11, 35, and it says, Jesus wept. I mean, I know that's a short statement, but man, Jesus wept. He was God, but this shows his humanness. He wept, you see, and uh, he just had all the feelings that we have. He had a, a most horrible death, so much suffering. How can you not believe that he's human after all that he's done, all the blood that he has shed for us? And, um, so that's his man, human side, his, um, God, God side, you know, cause he's 100% man, 100% divine. He, um, he says, I am the son of God. I am the Messiah. Well, he, I don't, but he says, I am God. He says, you know, in, um, verse, it's found in John. John eight fifty eight and it says, um, before Abraham was was born, I am. And that I am little part, that I am phrase, is the same I am that God used in Exodus three fourteen when God told Moses, when God said to Moses, I am who I am. And that I am part is God's name for himself, which is Yahweh. And um, even the Jews were like they felt unworthy to say it. And so to hear somebody say, I am, made them not like Jesus. They were like, man, he's blaspheming. And so that's, you know, one of the big reasons why they were just, they didn't want to believe in Jesus because Jesus was saying that he was God. And why can't Jesus say he's God? Because he was God. And people just didn't want to believe him because they were just so, you know, like, oh, no, it can't be, you know. <laughs> but Jesus is the Messiah. He came down to save people. He came down to save us in human form, but he was still God. And he continually said that he was God, saying that me and my father are the same, and uh, no one can go to the father except through me. And so um, you can definitely see in scriptures that, you know, when he refers to himself as God, and you can definitely see through scriptures all the things he went through that made him human. And so Jesus was human and Jesus was God. Jesus is definitely a historical figure because everybody knows Jesus. And um, they can look back and even see, you know, the, um, you can so look back in history and see um, Jesus' death. And, um, yeah, in record or something like that. And um, he, you know, like, you just look back into this history of uh, Christianity and you see that it was real. It definitely came from somewhere. It came from Jesus, man. I mean, like, there's people are not going to just, you know, be moved by some someone who's not, someone who's crazy. They're moved because Jesus is the Son of God and Jesus is God. And so, um, yeah, he was human. And he was God. And Jesus today is my personal Savior. Jesus today can be your personal Savior. Because, like, my life right now, look, my life is going to be dedicated. My life is dedicated to Jesus. Like, okay, I'm only 19, but, like, the rest of my life is going to be dedicated to Jesus. Because, like, look, he's going to put me out there. I don't know where he's going to put me. But he's going to put me out there to be a minister to others, whether it's to young people or to just anybody. And um, I'm going to be proclaiming Jesus, Jesus' name. I'm going to be proclaiming in the name of Jesus. You know why? Because Jesus is my God. And yes, he was human when he came here. And he was God at the same time. He is 100% man, 100% human. And I believe that with all my heart because he died on that cross. He went through so many sufferings and he died on that cross just for me so that he would understand what I feel and that he would understand all the temptations I'm going through, you know, and all that suffering. Of course, he's suffering more than I am. I mean, look how blissful my life is. And it's all because of him. But he came down to be human to understand us and that he was resurrected so that our sins could be cleared away. And so, Jesus is my personal Savior. Jesus is my God. Jesus 
is everything to me. I don't know what Jesus is to you, but that's Jesus today. See you guys next time.